In this video, I'll demonstrate pushing the NuGet Gallery to an Azure website. So what I have here on my machine is a clone of the NuGet Gallery from GitHub. And there's a couple of things I want to point out. The first one is that all of the NuGet packages that this gallery uses itself are not committed to the repository. And the second thing is if I look at the web config file, this app has a connection string called NuGet Gallery. And here it's pointing to a local SQL Express database and we'll want to make sure that this gets modified uh, on Azure to points to a SQL Azure database. So what I'll do now is switch to the new Azure portal and create a new website with database. And I'll just call it NuGet Gallery. And I want to create a new SQL database. And here I'm going to name the database NuGet Gallery, which matches the name of the connection string. And that is how the connection between the two is done. And I'll create a new server, SQL Server. I'll give it some credentials. And I'll go ahead and create the app. Now I can go inside the app and turn on Git Publishing, which will create an empty repository for me that I can push to. And now it gives me the Git URL as well as some instructions. So here I'm going to grab this line here, which tells me how to associate the remote, the Git remote. So I now have a new remote called Azure in my repository and I can just go git push Azure master. So now the repository is getting basically uploaded to Azure via git. Now the first phase of the git push is complete, which is the, the upload. But now there's a post receive hook that will actually build my app. And now you can see the portal waking up and saying that it's deploying the app. And here we can see it's building. And now it's downloading all the NuGet packages that are needed by this app, since, as I discussed earlier, they were not committed to the repo, which is uh, usually a good practice to avoid uh, committing binaries. And now it's done. It's going to complete uh, the deployment. And if I go back to the portal, we see that it has completed and it is active. So now I can click browse, which will launch the site. And here we go. I now have the NuGet gallery running as a website in Azure. So now let's see how uh, I would be able to make a change to this app and push it. So I'll go back to my command line and I'll edit a file. pages home and I'll just make a small string change I'll just put Azure in there commit the change and push it and here we can see that the new deployment is kicking in and it's done. Now if I go back to my site and refresh it, we see that the string uh, has changed. And let's say I don't like the change that I just pushed, I can very easily uh, go back in my list of deployment, click on the previous one and ask to redeploy it. And now uh, the previous version is back live and I'll refresh again and we can see that our string is gone. 
So this gives you a good introduction of what it takes to push a .NET app to a Windows Azure website via Git.